arguments right or wrong. Finally, at one point in the review, Destiny admitted where his argument was weakest and needed to be improved, specifically on the nature of consciousness and what gives us moral value, what makes human consciousness unique and thus deserving of special protection. There's one thing that's really hard to explain. We went back and forth on it for a while. I need, I need like a snappier analogy for it. I'm trying to think of what it, what it was. Oh, it might've been like, oh, I remember what it is. The lesser forms of conscious that like babies have, I guess. Like it's something that I, I need to figure out a way to tighten that up. I then noticed under the video, one of his commenters brilliantly summarized the fatal weakness in Destiny's argument. He writes, I think the lack of clarity on what exactly makes human consciousness different is the weakest part of your position because it puts you in a bit of a dilemma. On the one hand, if you spell out the specific differences of human consciousness in detail, i.e. level of self-awareness, level of intelligence, problem-solving ability, memory, etc., then your opponent can quickly point out that many animals have higher levels of these things than even infants do. If that were the case, then the consciousness argument entails that adult pigs are more worthy of protection than very young human children, which strikes most folks as absurd. On the other hand, if you simply say that it's merely the fact that it's a human consciousness that gives it rights, then it seems like you're endowing some sort of essence to what it means to be human, which makes that conscious experience worthy of protection. In this scenario, it doesn't seem like it's consciousness that's doing the moral work, since that does nothing to create animal rights. It seems like it's humanness that is doing the work. But if it's humanness that endows rights, then the pro-lifers are right, that such rights would logically begin at the beginning of the life of that human organism. I'm not sure that you need a new analogy. It may be that this is just a fundamental weakness in your position. Either human beings are innately special, or consciousness is innately special, or both are special. If the former is true, then pro-lifers are right. If the second option is true, then Peter Singer's pro-infanticide position is right. If both are true, then abortion is definitely wrong, as is eating meat. I don't know that a middle position like what you hold is really a viable option, end quote. I agree, which is why I said of all the pro-choice views out there, Destiny's is one of the least logically coherent, though he tries very hard to be coherent. Now, he did say that at worst, his view would just be modified to include infanticide. But if it came to that, I think many people will reject his view on abortion because nearly everyone agrees infanticide is gravely evil, so they would reject the moral view that leads to infanticide. All right, well, I hope this was helpful for you all. And as I said, I'll leave the debate as it is. I just wanted to address Destiny's review questions because they're really important and a three-hour conversation where subjects uh, can change often in the dialogue isn't always the best way to address them. And if Destiny wants to debate another topic, I'd be happy to do that in the future. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to help us...